All right, in the last few videos, we've kind of deviated from the topic of music, and there are five things that I want to make sure that people really take away from this entire course, because there is a lot of content, and it's very easy for little things to get away from people, I think, when, you know, you're not sure what to focus on. But these are the five most important concepts I want you to walk away with as a musician, not necessarily somebody who's making your own graphics and music videos and all that other stuff. Those are additional tools that you should definitely have, but as an actual musician, these are the five things things that I think, you know, are really going to, number one, make the most immediate impact, where if you put in a concerted effort to work on these, you can probably improve drastically within a week or two weeks. But even more importantly, if you remember these five things in the future, as you keep on making music, these are the things that are going to help you grow the most. So number one is simply write with your microphone. Do not write with a pen. Do not write your songs down in a notepad. I mean, that's fine if you want to do that. But it is more important that you use a microphone, record into a DAW, a digital audio workstation, some kind of program where you can hear yourself rapping or singing or making whatever type of music that you're making. You should be able to hear the way that you're delivering your lines. You should be able to hear your voice and the melody and how it ties into the actual background music. You know, if you write something down into a notepad and then a month later you go back and try to record it, you're not going to remember the way that you delivered it. You're not going to remember the melody. You might even think you remember the melody, but then you'll end up recording something that is slightly different. So it is very important that when you're writing your song, you're actually recording and listening to it and getting a good idea of how your delivery sounds with the beat. And then if you ever need to go back in the future and re-record, you know, in a studio or whatever, you're going to remember, okay, that's how I delivered that line because you have it recorded. The second thing I want you to remember is to write your rhythm before you write your lyrics. It might take a little bit of practicing and it might be a little bit weird to you and that's fine. But it is a good idea to come up with a rhythm and find the words that fit that rhythm rather than trying to come up with lyrics and make them fit into a certain rhythm. Or even worse, ruining your rhythm because you know you can't do that. If you have to rap in gibberish and come up with something like and then go back and find lyrics that will fit that rhythm, then that is perfectly fine. Nobody actually sees your writing process. All they hear is the finished product. And I'm telling you that this is a surefire way to make sure that your finished product sounds polished. Number three is find your delivery. And unfortunately, this is the hardest thing for me to actually teach you how to do because everybody is different. Everybody's going to have a different natural persona about themselves. However, you do want to make sure that when you're rapping, you are projecting your voice. You're not rapping really quietly and talking very silently and barely even. Nobody wants to hear you rap like that. People want to hear energy. And on some level, it really depends on the type of track that you're making. The more that you practice, you know, putting projection into your vocals, the more presence you're going to have when you're not projecting and you're doing something that's more silent and mellow. And that's a good thing. So one of the other benefits of writing with your microphone is the ability to help you find your delivery. You can record, listen to yourself and think, is this what I really want to sound like? Do I want to sound like I have more energy? Do I want to sound like I have a you know smoother delivery? Do I want to be singing in a falsetto voice or do I want to be singing in kind of like a baritone voice? Even if you have a melody in mind for a chorus, you could be singing it in different octaves. Some people might sound better singing from the diaphragm. Some people might sound better singing in falsetto. So it is important that you go out there, experiment, and find your delivery, find your style, but writing with your microphone is something that will help you along the way. And it will make that growing process go by a lot faster than if you were to just write everything down in a notepad and then record it and then not have any type of conversation with yourself about whether you should be doing this in a different way. The fourth thing I want to talk about is the illusion of consistency. It does not matter if you're talking about choruses, it does not matter if you're talking about songs or individual lyrics. If you create a lot of volume, if you write a thousand songs, it is inevitable that you're going to have maybe like 20 or 30 that are amazing. Now the other 970 might not be that good. But it doesn't really matter because nobody is going to hear those 970 songs except for you. They're only going to hear the 30 amazing songs that you came up with and they're going to think that you are consistent 100% of the time. And as you grow and as you get better, you are inevitably going to get more consistent. You will eventually get to the point where you could come out with 50 songs and 30 of them are going to be really good. But at the end of the day, you want to have quality control. You want to create a lot, but you want to make sure that you are only putting out the things that are actually worth putting out. And then the final tip is to find a source of constructive criticism. Now, I don't care if it's one individual person or an entire community. 
All that matters is that they are going to be honest. They are going to tell you what things you need to work on, what can be better. They're not going to tell you something is great when it isn't, but they're also not just going to say that everything you do is horrible. Now, I do want to encourage people to go to a website called www.rap-royalty.com. I think it's really important to have communities of people online who are able to share and actually spread each other's music and give each other constructive feedback. And when I was growing up, websites like this were really common. They were really active with a lot of people, but over time, they have definitely deteriorated. And I think it's really important that people who have an interest in music are able to develop communities like this where we can give each other feedback and everybody can grow because of it. It also gives you a place where you can network with other artists. And then finally, this is my personal email. If you email me with a song that you have or something that you're working on or even a question, I am happy to go through and listen to it and give you feedback. I am incredibly appreciative for anybody who actually, you know, goes through this entire lecture. And I want to show that appreciation to people by being a resource where, you know, if you need help with anything that has to do with, you know, making music or even, you know, graphic design, video editing, whatever, I am happy to help people out. Make sure that in the title of the email, you include the fact that you are a student taking the course making hip hop music for beginners. I may not respond immediately, but I will do my best to respond within a week. And I will always try to be as thorough as possible. And that is basically everything I wanted to cover. Thank you one more time for subscribing to this course. And no matter what you do, always keep trying to improve yourself because one thing that is imperative to constructive criticism is being able to receive criticism. Remember that there is always something that you can be working on because the minute that you think, okay, I'm perfect the way that I am, you're going to stop trying to improve. There is no limit to how good you can be. There is no limit to how much you can improve. There will always be something that you can work on to do better. Remember to stay humble and continue trying to find something to get better at. And until next time, keep making music.